are Women in Data Science. Today, I can't think of a better way to spend International Women's Day celebrating and connecting with women in data science just like yourselves. So thanks so much for joining us here today. <laughs> to be in the same room with hundreds of professionals all over the world and the open doors, it's unbelievable and intangible. Data science is applied so much in so many kinds of different disciplines. It's my first time in the WITS conference, loved it. I find really unique about the WITS community is that every person, whether they were a keynote speaker or whether they're a student, wants to share something from their experience that's going to help you going forward and help you learn about the industry and also develop yourself as a person. What's helped me most in my career, it is so important to sort of mirror the data, techniques, algorithms, with the art of influence. We had a wonderful Datathon challenge with participants from over 100 countries all across the globe. So inspired to see several high school students participating in this year's challenge. So the top high school award goes to Zainab. The Wood Datathon was really such an interesting and amazing experience for me to learn a lot more about data science, but most importantly, it really showed me what data science can do to really create real change in the most pressing problems that we have today. And what really thrilled me this year is that on the live stream, we had 76 different countries. We are women in biomedical data science. We are this next gen. We are WITS Data Partners! We are WITS Ambassadors! WITS Ambassadors bring the Women in Data Science Conference to their own locations. This year we will have over 200 events in over 55 countries around the world. WITS has grown organically, responding to what the needs of the community are, what women data scientists need, and exploring new ways to interact to evolve our programming, both here at Stanford and around the globe. We have a broad variety of people bringing their experiences and their knowledge to connect with each other and learn, in addition to the technical content that is appearing on the screen. We are always learning and seeking out for new opportunities to expand our skills and knowledge. What data at scale can do is show individuals that they're not alone. They can connect and then collectively act, which makes change much, much more likely. People getting into this field, and especially women getting into this field, want to make a difference. And so they want to find a project or a problem to work on that's going to have a positive effect on somebody's life or the community in general. And so all the work that I do has really stemmed from a lived experience in working with the indigenous communities that I now work with. I think it's important to understand that there's a huge diversity of communities when we talk about data access. And what I learned as a social scientist is I could actually use data science in my field of research. A few of the speakers that were here today really spoke to me, one of them being Trina, about using data science for police justice. I lead Beneath the Surface, a project that uses narrative justice and data science to interrogate the intersection of gender-based violence and police misconduct. These data often reflect the messy, scrappy, and complicated settings that we work in. Consider just the range of data involved in thinking about patient records for different kinds of treatment and health issues around the world. The reason why we're so focused on those technical pieces is because we've assumed this moral obligation to do the best work we can to honor and respect the stories that have been shared with us. The foundational point I want to make about women is that women are creators. We must first cultivate our capacity for imagination, allowing us to create a future we haven't yet seen.